Hey folks, welcome to B5 Bricks. In today's video, this is my mock of the Fairchild C-119 boxcar aircraft seen in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. In the movie, it's attacked by the Quetzalcoatlus, and personally, I love this plane. It's a very cool looking design. And of course, for my mock, I used the official set as a basis, but here it is, it's pretty decent, not too expensive, and the Quetzalcoatlus is an awesome toy as well, but the plane is far too wee, and it's got too many studs for my liking. And overall, its dimensions to me just don't quite work. The Lego set is of course supposed to represent a C-119 boxcar, and this plane's heyday was 1947-1953, to and it's just a gorgeous looking aircraft. I love the tail and the sleek wings, and you can actually see it's quite large and can fit a vehicle or two in the back. So, as you might notice, I've extended the fuselage by six studs. That image on the bottom right is the original. And because it's extended, I had to widen the wingspan and the tail as well. The wings are just two studs wider, but it makes a huge difference. The original set, the main fuselage, had black studs and black parts. I don't know why, because the plane in the movie is clearly navy blue and grey on top. So I've sorted that all out. The wings are smooth now with grey tiles and of course it's longer. I really do much prefer this Lego made tiles so I think we should use them. The original interior was extremely cramped so I've added forward facing seating for all three characters. And this is where the extension comes into play. It's four studs longer in front of the wings and two studs longer behind the wings. If I just take this away, here's the cockpit. In the back I put brown shutters here instead as it kind of looks like that in the movie stills. This here is the extra panel I added, just a grey one on either side. And there's Owen and Co. I've offset each seat so their arms fit in and put grills and tiles on the floor. I think using the standard brown Lego chairs for this is just fine. Underneath, all I needed was a 4 stud base section up here and a 2 stud wide one in the back. To keep it strong, I've used these very long 16 stud plates. And this 2 stud wide strip here is all I added at the rear. Yeah, it's not a huge change, but the proportions are far better. It's also very strong and the tiles really make it more refined. I also made a new rear door which is curved and uses tan and grey to make it look old. For the top opening section I used one of those bonnet or hood pieces in navy blue and I tiled the side of the plain fuselage so it fits snugly when closed. Inside there's this tool thingy and actually there's a decent bit of room in here, maybe space for a wee dinosaur in future. <laughs> But it's a pretty cool play feature and the kids instantly opened it up and put stuff in when I first built this. For the top of the body I used a mixture of grey and blue curved slopes. I don't know why Lego themselves didn't actually do this, it's a million times better, especially with that curvature like a real aircraft. I elongated the tail fins by 3 studs to fit in the extended fuselage. The underside of the wings here show the extension and as you can see it really makes a difference and gives that wing angle more of a dynamic look. I added some extra red curved slopes here and four stud long wings to give it that enlarged and angled look which the original didn't have at all. It kind of looks a wee bit more like the C-119 then. This is Cabby from Planes 2, the Disney Pixar movie. My kids love it and this character is actually based on a C-119 box car and the toy is really accurate. Those tail fins really are more angular and sloped. I've given it my best shot but to be honest the Lego version was just too small to begin with as this is a far larger aircraft in real life. As it's a bit bigger, it's more of an interaction for the Quetzalcoatlus. I did consider using a different piece for the cockpit, but all of the existing Lego parts 
well, they actually used the best one probably as they're all a wee bit too angular. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's pretty easy to do if you want to do it yourself. It's a shame the movie was a total shambles though. <laughs> because some of the Dominion sets are just fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you like it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.